To fully understand the concept of compounding is to understand how seemingly small growth can lead to massive success over time. Those familiar with the financial industry will understand the exciting benefits that compound interest can bring in long-term investing. However, this principle doesn't just apply to this sector. Rather, the principle of compounding can be applied in all areas of life, with incredible effects on your growth. The idea of compounding is to put two or more elements together to form a whole. In principle, the idea is that as you add to something little by little, the whole sum of what you add to grows. However, where compounding is really interesting is the effects of the growth, as we often see a snowball effect take place, meaning the output of compounding is often greater than the sum of its parts. To help understand this idea, it's worth understanding how it applies in the financial world with compound interest. Compound interest refers to the idea where the interest associated with a bank account, loan or investment increases exponentially over time. Here, if you make a $100 investment in a business which pays you a 10% dividend every year, you have the choice of either pocketing the dividend payments as cash or reinvesting those payments into additional shares. If you choose the second option of reinvesting the dividends and compounding them together with your initial $100 investment, then the returns you generate will start to grow over time. For example, if interest rates were to average around 7% a year, a modest but realistic number based on the history of the US market, and someone was to invest $1,000 at age 20 and contribute $83 a month, roughly around $1,000 a year until retirement, then by age 70, they would have $465,000 due to the effects of compound interest. The point here is that over time, the effects of compounding can drastically increase the amount of money your investments make. So, how does this work in your personal growth? The theory of compounding can also have a tremendous effect on personal growth, because as you learn, develop skills and create small habits, they all compound in your life to reap greater benefits. Let's take exercise as a habit which can have compounding effects. We all know that exercise is a necessity for our health, right? But then what about the other compounding effects that exercise can bring with it? Well. Exercise releases serotonin and dopamine in the brain, helping us to feel more positive in our outlook and directly influences our sense of fulfillment and happiness. More than this, exercise can increase testosterone levels in the body, which also helps you feel more confident. So now, looking at this with the knowledge we have, exercise isn't just benefiting your physical health, but plays a pivotal role in your mental health and psychological state to helping you have a more positive outlook in life. However, it goes a step beyond this, as being in better mental and physical shape will translate to benefiting us in other areas, not least in our cognitive function, helping us to be more focused and attentive, better in problem solving and decision making. Simply put, you'll set yourself up to be more productive. Fundamentally, the takeaway here is that the compounding effects of exercise can be incredibly beneficial, and that's by building one good habit into our lifestyle. Now imagine if you were to build multiple good habits in your life and apply the theory of compounding to them. Well, now we're not just talking about numerous gains in your life, we're talking about changes that can potentially change your life completely. It's based on this reason that the Japanese business idea of Kaizen has been found to be so relevant in the modern world. However, the effects of compounding are powerful and for all of the benefits you can get from them, you can equally suffer from them if you don't have habits that are beneficial for you, especially in view of their long-term consequences. Going back to our example of exercising, we saw how exercise can benefit your physical and mental health. However, a lack of exercise can equally be detrimental to both. Beyond that, it can affect other areas of your life as your work might suffer, your relationships might suffer, and it can spiral out of control and have severe consequences. This isn't to try and scare you, but rather I want to make it clear that just as compounding effects can be highly beneficial, they can also be highly damaging. It's often recommended that when working towards something, you should take it one step at a time. Sure enough, in the short term it's hard to see the benefits of doing so, but with compounding effects, in the long term it can set you up to have an exceptional quality of life.